I think one of the key things we always forget is that software spends most of its life in maintenance. And when we own software for a long period of time, the key thing we need it to be able to do is respond to change. Our business will change, we will pivot, we'll go in new directions, we'll, we'll see new market opportunities. We want to be able to change our software without breaking any of our existing customers. So my name is uh, Ian Cooper. I'm a, a senior principal engineer in London. I work for Just Eat Takeaway, which has local branding in different markets, but we do uh, online food delivery uh, orders. For people. Been a software engineer for, oh gosh, a lot of years. It might be close to 30 years now. So I've accumulated experience doing a variety of things. I'm probably best known for talking about uh, messaging and events, but also talking about test driven development. And I. I uh, gave a speech uh, about 10 years ago or so now called TDD Where Did It All Go Wrong, which a lot of people have, may have seen on the internet. And today I'm doing a kind of updated talk around that at Craftcom. So for a junior engineer, I'd say one of the problems any junior engineer faces is this thing of where do I get started? If someone said to you, oh, I want you to write some code for us, to run through this, uh, run through a menu and price basically a basket. Your first thing would be, well, where do I start? Where, or how do I get going right with that requirement? The beauty of test-driven development is it gives you a starting point, which is take that requirement, find a small part of it, write the test, which will prove that requirement, and then use that to drive the rest of the work you're going to do as implementation. And it's that getting started problem it solves for a junior developer. For a senior developer, uh, the, the two things that you really need to want to think about when you're writing code are design and scope control. So how do you how do you get how do you work on the design? And one of the key things you want to be able to do is build up the design as you move through the requirement. But obviously that may involve you changing your mind as the requirements develop. So TDD enables you to do that because it enables this thing called refactoring, which is I've got tests. They make sure that I don't break the behaviors that I've already implemented, but I can change the code via refactoring you know, as, I, as I learn more and I can improve the design quality of the code that I have as a result. And it also gives you scope control because you're not writing code that isn't needed by a behavioral requirement that you've expressed in the test. So you get design and scope control. The CTO, I think one of the key things we always forget is that software spends most of its life in maintenance. Writing the first version of software is a trivial activity by comparison to if we are successful, how long we will have to own that software. And when we own software for a long period of time, the key thing we need it to be able to do is respond to change. Our business will change. We will pivot, we'll go in new directions, we'll, we'll see new market opportunities. And we want to be able to change our software without breaking any of our existing customers. And test driven development enables that. It gives you the tests you can use to make sure that you can easily modify your software as you go forward. It keeps it subtle and it keeps it uh, able to be changed. Uh, so I'm on, in the great world of uh, social media diaspora we live in now, I am I Cooper on Hackyderm, which is Mastodon on Twitter. Uh, I'm Ian Cooper on LinkedIn, and those are the best places to find me at the moment. Hi there. Thank you for staying with us until the end. If you want to learn more about Engineer Explains, click on one of these.